Hey guys, so before we start the video, I have put a freelance services link that I provide in the description of this video and you can basically go and check them out. So let's start. Hey guys, so today I'm going to share a really interesting website. It is open source alternative .to. It is a website which will help you to find open source alternative for all the proprietary SaaS, not all the but uh, many of the popular ones. So let's just talk about what is open source before we start. So if you guys don't know, open source is simply a free open for all type of service of service or product that you don't have to do anything to basically use them now with open source there are definitely some limitations because with any product or service it is necessary to have some revenue streams to develop them and make them better but still you can use open source for many projects and stuff so let me just go and show you what kind of services we got uh, okay let's go so before you start SAS so let's just one more thing it's a SAS some people don't know what SAS is SAS is software as service software as service is really simple it is a basically softwares that you can use on web uh, the most famous example of this is Canva now not the most famous but many of my users i know viewers and stuff uh, use canva for print on demand we, i use canva a lot and uh, for other projects too it's just it's a very good website it is a software as service and uh, there are many many of them so let's just go and let's see what kind of alternatives they have got so as you can see they got categories analytics documentation e-commerce communication development community password manager cloud developer tools notes uh, note taking automation and stuff so let's just see let's see what they got in automation i am focusing on automation a lot nowadays because it will it's it is the future in some ways for some things it is really necessary to have automation is this I think it's the same page. One second, let's just click on automation. What happened? Okay, let's just click on automation. Okay, there you go. Category automation. So let's just see. So it's got Hugin. Let's just see what this is. So okay create agents that monitor and act on your behalf your agents are on standby so it creates agents and stuff that will basically that will create so it is licensed by mit and uh, language is ruby ruby is a programming language so it's on github now i use github a lot for finding open source projects and i recommend you guys to use github because there are many projects that are available for testing in open source format and uh, it is really good i will create a tutorial in future for github how to use it and how to get really good services for free hold on let's see so here you can see this it, sometimes it may look a little bit complicated if you are not from programming background but you can read these documents and uh, use it so let's just see let's just check out other ones because right now i don't need this particular service but let's see what other services they've got for automation so they got g dot go dot my bad go dot uh, let's see what is go dot go dot is a multi-platform 2d and 3d game engine okay so there are different kinds of projects here and uh, my guess is many of them are on so let's just see uh, open source alternative to network open source alternative to man and mice aft so this one looks good google home this one looks good let's see 
I have triple T and stuff. Let's okay. So it is on Python. Python is a very good programming language for anybody who want to get into programming. I recommend to learn Python. I know a little bit of Python. Uh, let's see. So okay, so they got projects from the official websites too. So home-assistant.io awaken your home open source automation put control and privacy first worldwide community and uh, okay so let's see what do we have okay so there are different kinds of kinds of services here there's documentation integration so home assistant kitchen lights okay so this is this is how you basically automate the things in your house so kitchen lights living room lights I think it's some sort of an app and uh, there are different kinds of automation projects running right now so let's just see you know taking developer tools e-commerce let's see what they got on e-commerce what kind of free stuff they got so solid sale or commerce sale or commerce okay sale or commerce medusa commerce so these are open source alternatives to Shopify and BigCommerce. Now, guys, uh, here's something that I recommend. Whenever you use these open source, now we already know WooCommerce. I got my store on WooCommerce and I am pretty happy with it. But uh, if you are using open source, make sure that uh, your data privacy, right? So you basically just have your data in order because uh, it can cause some issues. But uh, most of the time, if you are using, as I said, WooCommerce, it is on uh, WordPress. So it will be pretty much you, you must be familiar with the whole system here. But let's just see what they got in Sailor Commerce. And this is all there is to it i think the there's not a whole lot of complication here so it's on python open source so let's just check and uh, let's see so sailor my recommendation is you go to this website and uh, really give time because there are too many projects to get through in uh, a single video but if i find something amazing or something that uh, i think that will be useful for you guys i will definitely share uh, in the future but uh, right now let's just see what they got on sale seller io commerce api and uh, let's see headless commerce mm, crm so okay so they got cms crm and everything and, uh, Okay, so once I set up these things and really create a store out of these services, I will share because I don't want to just show you guys the website for these kinds of services because we are in the e-commerce industry and uh, once I use it, then only I will vouch for any of the services in e-commerce. But this one, open source alternative.to, I definitely, definitely recommend. So you can find all the open source uh, alternative for SaaS services. And uh, that's all for this video. I will meet you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you.